And on the investigation front, prosecutors say they're done playing games with the de facto owner of the sunken ferry operator who has so far defied court summons. A special team tasked with bringing in Yu byung un by the end of this week is now in place. Our Shin Se-min has the latest developments. Prosecutors looking for the elusive practical owner of the sunken Sewalho ferry say they will make all effort to bring him in by week's end. In a briefing held Sunday, the leader of the Sewalho investigation task force said a special squad of more than 40 detectives would be formed to track Yu byung down and arrest him. He said Yu and his family have mocked the government and challenged authority in defying orders to come in for questioning. The 73-year-old is suspected of tax evasion and embezzlement of millions of dollars from company affiliates owned by him and members of his family. Prosecutors believe his illegal actions contributed to the sinking of the Sewolho ferry. Yu is presumed to be holed up inside a religious compound his family owns in Gyeonggi-do province. The area is currently surrounded by supporters of Yu who are blocking off authorities from entering. The prosecution has said it is considering raiding the compound. Arrest warrants for Yu's second son and eldest daughter, both of whom are residing abroad, have been issued after the two failed to appear for questioning. Yu's eldest son, who was involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the company that owned the Sewalho ferry, has also refused to cooperate with prosecutors. His whereabouts are unknown. Over a month has passed since the Sewolho ferry capsized off the southwestern coast of Korea. The confirmed death toll from the tragedy stands at 286, with 18 victims still unaccounted for. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.